The great thing about university is that it brings together students and staff who like the same subject areas. And what's really inspiring is to create new research knowledge together and learn through our partnership. CERTs are a voluntary way for students to gain skills and competences while benefiting science and society with the knowledge they co-create with staff. So as it started a couple of years ago when we were thinking about how do we get students involved with academic staff in co-creating research so that we all learn together and we do some beneficial stuff for our local and international organisations that are involved in wildlife conservation. So basically we're involved in a student environmental research project. Um, we're covering 110 uh, different uh, quadrat sites across four separate bits of Heathland along the south coast. Um, it's run by Bournemouth University but it's led by students so I'm a student team leader within it. This particular project happens to be uh, in conjunction with the National Trust and the RSPB and those are organisations that we have working with us closely. It is pretty much all teamwork um, which is, is fantastic that's the point of these student research things you get groups of people who don't really know each other throw them together form a team and you get a really good result out of it at the end. What we're actually doing for the National Trust is collecting data so they can um, monitor their sites. And the students have that textbook training from um, their classroom and they can actually bring it out into the field. So it's not like sending completely untrained people out there to do it, not just like volunteers. And I think I've worked out that this week in 10 days alone, we've probably done about 1,500 man hours of surveying. So it's a win-win, it's sort of we get to come out and play and train our students and they get the data back. Anita and Liz who are here have been like, they give you all the support you need in terms of identification, sorting out logistics and whatnot, um, and financially in terms of making sure we have everything we need at camp, it's fantastic. Um, and I think mixing that with other universities is, is a fantastic thing to do as well because you do gain more than just doing things in your university. You can get a range of skills, a range of experiences. People can tell you about their lectures, their experiences, and it all links together nicely. So that's why these projects as a co-curricular thing are fantastic, I think. So today we've been surveying the local heathland here at Arne on the south of the site, um, looking at pollinators and the plants that they're feeding on. There's a group of us, a large group, about 25 people. We're split into sub-teams and we're sent out each day to survey the heaths. Um, we're doing transects and quadrats to establish what sort of species interactions there are with pollinators and that'll help um, inform the RSPB uh, and the National Trust um, with their management decisions for the next 50 years. So just now we've got a, um, a drone that's measuring the elevation using LiDAR. Um, so that's going to be used to work out the um, sward height of the vegetation around us. Which would be more a time effective method than having groups of people going out and doing the um, vegetation cover. And then when they get all this information, if it works by using the drone, they can use it for such things as helping ground nesting birds, pollinators, and just overall conservation. Reptiles. Reptiles, yeah. So we're comparing what the quadcopter can measure against what our students can measure. So that's going to be interesting for the future, um, trying to see if uh, the new technologies can help us. So the students have been helping us with that today on top of their, uh, the vegetation pollinator surveys. I think if anybody is thinking about a career in ecology or working with wildlife, you have got to get out and do activities like this. Um, if you have no work experience, you are going to be um, massively restricting your career prospects. I think from 
a co-curricular point of view, it's it's fantastic. I think being able to work with people who have so much more experience than you to be able to link that into your own individual learning and experience is fantastic. This is a really good opportunity to learn those skills that a lot of people don't know about, apply them to my degree and then hopefully show that off on my CV. Um, it's really good for improving identification skills um, as well as getting to know your lecturer which is really handy and getting to know your course mates and people from other universities. So say people will be um, more advanced in their course than you or less and you can give them advice or get advice from them. Um, meeting different tutors from different universities has given us the opportunity to have mentoring support of different specialities and different skill sets. Um, meeting people from the uh, National Trust has also been fantastic, hearing about their experiences. I collaborate as well because they get real-time monitoring they get to understand how students work and they get to see how students might be really beneficial to them so they win or we win because yeah. we get to spend time in the best way of teaching that there possibly is which is by teaching Being out here and, and getting engaged with it and in the real world and getting to know our students